Using the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers may have found a new type of object in the Orion Nebula, the nearest large star-forming region to Earth, 1,340 light-years away. Dozens of Jupiter-sized objects have been found floating free through the vast nebula, unattached to any stars. Yet, and here's the interesting part, they're orbiting around each other in pairs. These so-called Jupiter-sized mass binary objects, or jumbos, are puzzling scientists. They're hot, gassy objects, evidently planet-like in composition and analysis of their spectra has revealed with water vapor and methane in their atmospheres. They're very young, only about a million years old, and have surface temperatures of around 1000 degrees Celsius. The big question is, where did they come from? Did they form in the same way as stars by the gravitational collapse of nebula gas and dust, but in parts of the nebula where the density of material was too low to make fully fledged stars? Or were they made like the planets in our own solar system before being kicked out into interstellar space? Current theories of star and planet formation suggest it shouldn't be possible for Jupiter-sized objects to form by the same process that gives rise to stars. Stars form when the dust and gas clouds in a nebula cool, progressively fragment, and eventually collapse under their own gravity. The smallest of stars, red dwarfs, have masses ranging down to about 80 times that of Jupiter. Below that, the core can't become dense or hot enough to fuse ordinary hydrogen. Smaller objects that coalesce through the same process as stars include dimly glowing brown dwarfs, the lightest of which are thought to have about 13 times the mass of Jupiter. Below that would be large planets. Theory, however, suggests that the lower boundary for an object forming through a star-like gravitational collapse is somewhere between three and seven Jupiter masses. The jumbos in the Orion Nebula are only about as massive as Jupiter, and in some cases less than that. Current theory says they shouldn't be able to form in the same way as stars, although perhaps our theory needs revising. The other possibility, which at the moment seems to be the one favored among astronomers, is that they were made in the same way as the planets of our own solar system, from disks of material that orbit around infant stars. But the puzzle then is to explain why jumbos occur in pairs. We know that planets can be ejected from young planetary systems, but these mechanisms only explain how individual planets are thrown out into interstellar space. How can you throw two things out of a star's orbit in a chaotic interaction and then get them to stay together so that they orbit around each other? Researchers don't at present have any models of planetary formation that allow for the ejection of binary pairs of planets. So they're faced with an interesting conundrum, either to devise such models or revise their theories of how objects form directly from nebula material in the same way as stars, but with masses as small as or smaller than that of Jupiter. To date, jumbos have been identified only in the Orion Nebula, but this is almost certainly because it's relatively close by. It seems likely that many star-forming regions will be found to contain these double Jupiters, and who knows, perhaps even smaller binary pairs that have formed in the same way, whatever that may be. The universe is full of surprises, and with each surprise, we learn something new.